skin, you can see that the box was damaged. If you look right back here at the specs, we can see that it says Bluetooth 4.0, screen resolution 128 by 128, screen size 1.44 inches, it says type the mod, typed for the CPU is MTK2501, 108 megahertz. It says RAM is 24 meg, which I don't think that's really the RAM. I think that's actually like the in internal storage. And then the ROM would be for what like the ROM uses is 32 megabyte, which isn't a lot. And you can see it comes in silver, gold, or gray, and I bought the gold. And you see right there, all you gotta do for Android users is scan that little code there. And iPhone users just scan the other little code. And it'll come up on your phone about downloading the software for the for the actual watch. And there's our direct web page, but I'm gonna actually put the web page for gearbest.com where this was actually purchased at. As you can see in here it says February 17, 2016. And so this watch was just made not long ago at all, because now we're like it's the beginning of March. I ordered this prior around that time period. You can see right here we have a little speaker. Here we have the USB charging port. Remember, I'm trying to record with one hand and do the video with the other. As you can see, it takes the standard micro USB, and over the little hole over here is the microphone. Now, for this review, let's go ahead. I think I already have it turned on. Let me just turn it off real quick. I'm going to stop the video, turn off the flash on my camera, so you can see the screen better on the actual watch. I actually have the screen, the flash turned off. Let me hold in the power button. As you can see right here, there's a little tiny button down here at the bottom that actually brings up the menu. I'm not to connect to my cell phone. I've been having issues with connecting now. If you look at the little screen here, you can see right there, it looks like it's like, you can see like line going in it. I'm thinking that's just a syncing with the camera issue because in person you don't see it moving like that. And over here you can see it can do music, call log, I'll click call log, then click on missed calls and everything else. And then it says loading. Now it seems like you have to have that software opened up for it to actually get it, and it doesn't seem like it always wants to get it off of your phone. Your call log and you can to recall people back, and the audio will come through your uh, smartwatch, and so you can actually talk through your smartwatch. The button down here just is like the menu button. The hook, this, uh, this over here is the power and the uh, home button. It says disconnect, so it doesn't only really connect right. If you hit the uh, menu button again, it tries to connect to the phone again. I think it's not working right because I'm actually recording right now. So, using that phone. Let's go back to here. Okay, so you can see that we get the pseudo meter, stopwatch. No, there's actually a phone finder on here, and I was playing with that earlier. I'm not sure if it's going to work right now or not, but it actually says, I am here, I am here across your phone, if it's actually connected properly. Don't make your phone say that. Home button again. Menu. See, we've got alarms. We've got clock type. Right now, we're actually on the first type. We're going to get to the second type of analog. And as you can see now, here's the second type. The first type was in the other menu, but let me go back to clock type, and I'll change it back to the first one. Click the home button so you can see it. And now you can see we have all the little second hands down there. 
that little headphone ja uh, icon needs to connect it to your phone. Beside the Bluetooth on the left hand top of the screen. Of course, the top right is the actual battery indicator. It's actually lighting up green, I'm not sure you can see the color of it. The clock has a generic white look to it. Let's go back to clock type. The digital 2, it looks like I actually clicked on. I meant to click on digital 1, but there you can see the digital, you can see the date underneath it. Now if you go back to digital 1, it actually has the pedometer, Bluetooth, and a call icon where you can actually click it and make a phone call. But personally, I'm going to hit the menu button again. I like analog clock one. I like the classic look with all the second hands. Right there, just disconnected from my phone. And you can see now the little headphone jack disappeared. Phone book, dialer, messages, call log, notifier, music, remote camera, settings, anti loss. I have no idea what that one does. We have to, that looks like it may be a power saver. Stop watch, pedo meter, sleep, look at sleep mode. Button. Now let's let me turn well, let's take off the let me turn back on the flash real quick on my camera so it makes it easier to see the watch. Okay now we're back. You can see the, the flash is so bright on this you can see that it's hard to see the watch now as we're lighting it all up. You can see right there it says you watch we have a leather band. The band appears to be replaceable. This is to be the lumen housing. The, the back piece, I think, is plastic by the way it feels. And if you pull the band over to the side, you can see where the little clips are, the crimp, uh, areas are where you can actually replace the band to another type of band. So if this band isn't large enough, you probably could put on a spandex band if you like spandex bands or something like that. Now, the watch is fairly limited, it only has like 24 megabytes of memory. Which doesn't give you a lot to actually do. You can't really install anything else on the watch. It can keep your phone book and your recent contacts, but it seems like each time you leave it and come back to it, it has to re-get it from your phone every single time. So it doesn't actually keep it on the phone on the watch. And okay, and over here you can see the uh, this is the power button and the home button. Gives a nice cool little sound to it when it turns off and on. Sorry I haven't fingerprinted up already. It was all nice and clean when I got it. But it's just, it comes with a screen protector on it, and it also comes with another screen protector. The one that came on it. But inside this box here that arrived crashed on my for me. We have the instruction manual. And there's another screen protector right here, which, as you can see, I have not put it on. I'm not even going to take it off the wrapper yet. I'm going to put it back in the box, and that way, when the other one wears out, I have one. If we go here to the user's menu, you can see right there we start off with page one. And we unroll it like this, and we get all of our pages. Right there it says, thank you for choosing our smartwatch devices. You can read the manual, comprehensive understanding of the use of equipment, in fact, with a taste of the function and simple method of operation. This equipment is new. Okay, right there, you can see right there, it talks about iOS app, 
only supports Bluetooth 4.0. And then over here for Android, it's the second one, the page. The top of the page, I tried doing that one first and it was trying to download the iOS because I didn't realize that the, the Android page and the iOS have on the same page. Which, I saw when it's an Android, I thought, it like, oh, that must be the Android up there, but it's not. It's on the bottom part of the page. And we come over here to... You can also do a direct web address also, if you type that all in. If you can't get that to work. To download it. And over here it talks about the... You see where it says speaker, mic, USB on the side, screen, menu, OK button and power home is the same button on the right hand side of the, of the, of the actual air, of the watch. Of course it points on the screen, and the other side is in some other language. For the price, I think this was like, I think I got it on sale for $24.99. I think original price is like $28, maybe $29. It's not bad though for the watch because most of the watches you get are plastic on the casing. This is the only one I found that was actually metal. It says it has an aluminum case. Which is great in my book because I have always had problems of breaking the plastic ones right up here by the bands. And then the watch is no good after that happens. And a metal one should not be that likely for it to happen. Right, like I said, it is kind of limited. It doesn't give you the option of downloading any new apps because it only has 24 megabytes of RAM. And then it has like 32 megabytes of actually ROM memory. So it is a very limited watch. But And I can look at the Chinese directions, but uh, you watch. No idea what any of that says because... I don't speak Chinese, and I'm in, the, I'm in the United States. Now, I was planning on getting a few of these here and trying to sell, like, at a flea market. But when they're shipping them to you in a plastic bag and the retail packaging is getting crushed like this, this one I bought for my own use. That would make it a little bit harder, I think, to sell at a flea market because your retail packaging is now damaged. But that's the way it came out of the retail bag. Or actually out of the shipping bag. And the shipping bag, what did I do? Oh, I have it right here. If you look right here, it says other for customs. Now, customs didn't charge me anything for it. I think it's because it was a small order and they put the value being at $12.49. Now the other side actually shows the shipping label. It says prepaid Germany. So it looks like it was shipped out of Germany. And I thought it was actually shipping out of China. As you can see there, it was shipped to my address. Thank you for viewing my re for viewing my review. And I'll put a link to the uh, to this item on their website. Now, like I said, it does take, uh, this one here, I think I waited about two weeks for it to arrive. It may have been a little bit sooner than that, I'm not exactly sure. Oh, right here, February, date and sender's signature. Looks like they shipped it out February 20th, 2016. And right now, we're on uh, March 7th, and it came today, so... If you think about it, that didn't take long at all once they shipped it out for it to arrive. About 17 days, about two weeks. If you liked my video, remember to click like and subscribe. I also forgot to talk about how short the USB cable is. It is very short. I'm not sure if it'll work with other USB cables, but this is how short of a USB cable it came with. Uh, it doesn't really amount to much of a, of a cable, but I plugged it in the side of my laptop and it charged without issue. But of course it's the standard one that my cell phone uses as well. Most cell phones use it unless you have an Apple uh, 
cell phone. 